Hey, hi, hello, my name's Alexis, and today is my VidCon recap. I've been dreading doing this video because then it's just official <laughs> that VidCon is over, and I'm very sad about it, but recap. So if you watched my vlogs, I'm going to try and not repeat everything that happened in my vlogs, but instead tell you what I didn't tell you. <laughs> Um, in my vlogs, uh, like for instance that last day where all I did was go to panels. Didn't tell you what happened, but now I can. <laughs> so starting with Wednesday the 25th, it was like VidCon day 0.5 because it wasn't the first day, but it was still somehow yet VidCon. Um, I met Mike Falzone, um, which I said in my vlogs. He was, he was lovely. I was introduced to Mike Falzone through a table talk on SourceFed, and I thought that this I was like, this guy is so funny, and he's kind of cute, I'm so into him. <laughs> and then on top of that, found out he's a musician, and then I'm like, well, now I'm in love. Uh, so I met him, he was a very cool, interesting guy, um, and that was pretty much VidCon day 0.5. Moving to VidCon day 1, the first official day of VidCon. Um, my pass, I showed you, but let me show you again. Um, so my name and my channel, and something that we'll talk about in a minute. <laughs> On the back, my name and my passions, which is dancing and cuties, and something we will talk about in a minute. <laughs> the first day I met Will and RJ, who are a gay couple that daily vlogs. Um, everybody that I mention, I will link down below in case you're interested in them. But Will and RJ, Rooster got me into them, and when we um, met them and I was hugging them. I was like, oh, my best friend got me into you guys. And I pointed over to Rooster and it was so adorable because Will and RJ bo both went, hi, best friend. It was so cute. Oh, they're so precious. So I love Will and RJ. I also ran into Matt Lieberman. And if you saw my vlog, you saw that I said that I kind of panicked at him. Um, yeah, I'm not going to relive that. I feel kind of bad about it. Sorry, Matt again. <laughs> also on the first day of VidCon, I met SourceFed. Uh, I was in the very crazy line, if you saw in my vlog, to meet SourceFed. They were great. I told you pretty much everything in the vlog. The one thing I did not tell you though is that I went up to Hug Lee and uh, I hugged her. <laughs> I said, I was like, I love you so much. You are the reason I came to see SourceFed is to see you. And she was like, oh my god, that's so sweet. Steve comes up behind her and goes, I'm standing right here, like to me. And Lee just puts her hand up like, no, go away. This is my moment. And uh, security started to like, I had to go. Security had to move me. Um, so I couldn't say what I really wanted to say to Lee, which is what I told her uh, the next day. But it was just so funny. Steve was trying to ruin our moment and Lee just would not allow that to happen. Also on VidCon day one, I mentioned that I bought a book by Mike Falzone. This is the book that I bought. Um, I've only read a bit of it so far, but it is amazing. It is called Never Shutting Up, a book of advice and other things you didn't ask for. That's really the best way to describe it. That is the perfect title for this book. It's advice and um, a few life stories and funny little lists. And it's one of those things where you're reading it and you're like, oh, this is hilarious. But then after you're done with like a chapter or a section or something, you're like, oh God, I learned something. So for VidCon day two, uh, I stood in line to meet Watsky. Um, if you saw my vlogs, then you saw that lines for signings were really crazy, very disorganized. Um, they tried their best to fix it for day two and day three, but I still think it was a bit disorganized. Sorry, <laughs> that's just my opinion. So while waiting for Watsky, before I actually got in line to see him, I met Brittany Louise Taylor. She is so lovely. She's so nice. She's the sweetest thing. And that was the day I was wearing my leather jacket and she asked me where I got it from so I told her. And then she's like, that's so cute. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> so I'm like, perfect. Brittany Louise Taylor wants to steal my jacket. It just, she's so sweet. She's so nice. Oh, it's so nice knowing that the people you watch are nice, you know what I mean? So, of course, if you watch my vlog, you saw that I met Watsky and you saw that he signed my badge. Um, 
I have had a crush on Watsky. I was introduced to him through Epic Rap Battles of History, and I thought, who is this little white boy? White boy can rap. I just think he's really cool. He's really talented from what I had seen on YouTube. I thought he was really nice, and um, I actually meeting him, he actually is really nice and is really cool. Um, but I think meeting him also made me fall further in love with him. So I have VidCon to blame for that. Thanks, VidCon. I am now completely in love with Watsky. Great. Um, after meeting Watsky while walking through the expo hall again, I ran into Tazon Day, um, who a lot of people know as the Chocolate Rain guy. But he is amazing, and the internet does not prepare you for how majestic and beautiful his voice is. It's amazing. Amazing. You feel it like rumbling in your chest because it's so naturally deep. Amazing. But he's so he's such a nice guy too. He asked me how we, how my day was going. And I'm like, oh it's great, yours? He's like, yeah, good. But but just the way he said it, because his voice is so deep, it's just amazing. Like he has a voice where I want him to read me bedtime stories. Uh that day I also met Elliot Morgan, who is previously from SourceFed. Um, if you watch my vlog, then you saw the conversation I had with him while we were hugging, and it was amazing, and now I miss him even more. <laughs> that night, I went to the um, concerts to see Watsky, but um, the Gregory Brothers performed before Watsky, and I didn't know who the Gregory Brothers were. I had seen two of them in YouTubers react. I don't really have words to describe how I felt about their performance. I was confused, but I was also very, very into it. I thought it was really cool. And then the next day I did watch some of their videos on their channel. And they're, it's very interesting what they do. It's such an interesting concept. It's so original, like no one else would think to do what they do. And more on them in a minute. Um, and then Watsky performed. He's such a good performer. Like, I was so tired, I was so mad that the show was running late and that his set had to be cut short, but I felt just immediately pumped as soon as he started because that's just the vibe that he gives off. He just gives off a very good, pumped, we're gonna party feeling. And not like party, but like, I hope you know what I mean because I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Leaving the concerts, I then ran into Adande from Swoozy. Um, I went up to him and hugged him. He had been there all day long. All day long he had been standing in the same spot. So I went up and hugged him and I grabbed a picture with him and I was like, baby, you've been here all day. You've been here since I got lunch earlier. And he's so nice. He said, well, if you guys are here, I'm here. And I thought that was just the sweetest thing. But then he was kind of looking at me and he goes, you look familiar. And I go, yeah. He's like, you do videos? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you upload regularly? I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking, Swoozy recognizes me. He has come across my videos and he knows who I am. But then, Don Day, if you're watching this, you're damn friends. His friends came by and like distracted him. They were talking to him about what they, if, if he was going out with them later that night or something. Um, and then when he turned back to me, that was like the end of our conversation. It was like, well, it was nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you too. And I'm like, no, damn it, you recognized me. <sighs> so close, yet so far. The last day of VidCon, I sat in the same panel room all day and watched panels. Uh, first was Ellen Blair. I don't really watch Ellen Blair. I did feel really bad for them though, because they asked who was after them and, uh, everyone, you know, says Charlie McDonald, and you could kind of see on Blair's face that she was kind of upset because the room had been starting to fill up, and I think then she realized that it was because people wanted to see Charlie and they weren't there uh, for them, so I did feel really bad for them, but I'm sorry, Ellen Blair. <laughs> After Ellen Blair was Charlie McDonald, he had um, his team, uh, they screened um, his new short film, I'm actually not sure if it's up yet, it hadn't been uploaded, it was like our sneak preview of it. Uh, it starred Jack Howard, um, Charlie said he wished Jack could be there, but Jack wasn't, made me sad. Um, it was an amazing film, I almost cried uh, everywhere, 
<sighs> it was so good. And then, who was after that? After that was the Gregory Brothers. I didn't know that their panel was in the same room that SourceFed and Phil DeFranco's panel would be in, so I was really excited to see them and to um, get to know them a bit more as like a group and as individuals. Um, plus, I kind of have a huge crush on Michael. He is adorable. <laughs> they talked about their, like where they get their ideas from and um, um, if people have ever gotten mad at them for making a song out of them or anything and it was really cool and then at the end they had us singing like the chorus of backing up and it was amazing like they taught us like it was like a four-part harmony basically it was amazing it was the coolest thing oh oh i loved it it was so cool after that was phil defranco's panel moderated by SourceFed. before he started he asked if we all wanted to see the baby and of course we did so Lindsay came out carrying baby trey and everyone is like shushing everybody like you just hear everyone going shh 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 <laughs> and phil thought that was kind of funny but that baby is so cute like obviously he's cute because we've all seen pictures of him but seeing him in real life he's even cuter like, oh, adorable. So adorable. Love that baby. So Phil's panel was actually really interesting. Not that I expected it not to be interesting because Phil himself is an interesting guy. After Phil, it was source fed moderated by Phil. Um, they introduced Joe Beretta. Joe came out with his son, Jackson, handed her, handed the baby to a random lady and then just walked away. And then like, it was a joke, obviously, so he joked and went back to get the baby. Um, that's just, that's just Joe Beretta for you. He's, he's a funny dude. Ugh. And that, that panel was hilarious. Um, they have the whole thing on, I believe, the SourceFed channel, not SourceFed Nerd. I think it's on SourceFed. And you can see my laughing face. My laughing face is forever in a SourceFed video. Um, the question was, what would you tell your 10 year old self? And the person who asked the question, very funny, um, was like, Will, I know that wasn't so long ago for you. Everyone starts laughing. Everyone goes, ooh, and then starts laughing. And then there's like a shot of the audience and you can see me since I was in the first, the very front row, you can see me laughing at William Haynes amazing. So after their panel was done, um, I think they were actually the last panel of the day, but after their panel was done, you know, everyone rushes forward to the table to try and talk to them. I got right in front of Raina Scully, and it must be hard being new to a channel where people have gotten so used to seeing the same people all the time, you know? So it, I think it might have been hard for her after Meg left to come in and I don't want to say be the new Meg, but to do what Meg has done. But I told her that I really liked her, I thought she was interesting, and I really liked watching her on the channel, and I think that meant a lot to her, so you keep doing what you're doing, Reyna. <laughs> I then scooted down the table to try and get to Lee to tell her what I wanted to tell her the day before, but didn't get a chance to. So I'm scooting, and I'm talking to everyone as I'm scooting, having a good time. <laughs> I finally get to Lee. And I asked Lee to sign my badge, and she did, and I love Lee's signature because it literally just says Lee with two exclamation marks. And while she was signing it, I told her, um, I said, you know, you have a congenital heart defect, I have a congenital heart defect. She got so excited, like, she started yelling. She was so excited. She's like, oh my god, you have a scar? I'm like, yeah. So I, like, pulled up the collar of my shirt down show her my scar and she's like oh my god we're scar twins I was like yeah oh my god so now I'm scar twins with Lee Newton and um she was like what's your name and she still had my badge but I said her I said my name anyway she's like oh Alexis she's like can I call you Lexi I'm like yes of course she's like Lexi okay scar twins oh my gosh that that kind of made my life um I said in the first vlog of vlog week that meeting Lee was kind of important to me because she's the only one who understands like what I've been through and I told her that too and um I did not cry um thank god <laughs> but I don't think you guys would be able to understand how much 
how much that means to me um, to say that Lee and I are Scar Twins, even if it doesn't mean anything outside of VidCon, it means a lot to me. It's just really important to me, and I don't think there's any way you guys could understand how important that is to me. <laughs> Moving on before I get way too emotional. Um, that was the end of VidCon, really. Anyways, that's all for my VidCon recap. Sorry this video is kind of long and a bit rambly didn't really organize my thoughts before I started, and I'm sure even if I did, it still would have been long and rambly, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the links to all of my social media and the links to channels that I have mentioned in this video will be down in the description, so check out everybody. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. Bye!